Alright, hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Um, today I'm going to bring you a species profile on the uh, pearl dano, which the scientific name is Dano alabin alabinolinatus. I probably screwed up the last part of scientific name like I always do, but oh well. So now, um, the pearl dano is a very common, very easy to keep, and it's a very good starfish. And there's, has that, it's a good starfish for several reasons. First, it's small. Uh, they grow to about two inches. Males are a bit smaller than the females. Uh, another reason why they're really good is that they have a fairly good temperature tolerance. They like to be in water that's between 16 to 25 degrees. And because of that lower temperature tolerance, you can even keep these guys unheated. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that, uh, Murky fish keepers make is uh, improper heating. Now, when it comes to pH, they're fairly flexible. Not as flexible as some of the other fish, like some of the Grammys, but these guys have a pH flexibility between 6 to 8, and they can survive in either soft or hard water. Now, when it comes to feeding, these guys in nature, they're insectivorous, and they supplement their uh, diet with some free flowing algae. So basically you want to make sure these guys are being fed a good staple flake food that has some algae enrichment. But also I'd say that I feed these guys uh, frozen brine shrimp also, and I love that. Um, tube fig worms, blood worms, those will also be good supplementary foods for them. Now, they're extremely peaceful. They uh, don't bug other fish. The only, thing, the only way these guys can pose a problem for other fish is that because they're so fast, they tend to get access to food really, really quickly. So if you're keeping them with fish that are too slow, they might consume all the food before the slow moving fish gets any, if you have too many of uh too many pearl down in your tank. Now um as for like uh tank requirements, these guys need at least a ten gallon. Get a shoal of about five. Big group is better. You probably can keep a shoal of like ten of these guys in a ten gallon tank as long as you got a lot of swimming space for them. They like a planted tank. If uh, they're not in a tank with plants in the core, they'll actually fade out, and they'll turn kind of like a pale, peachy color, instead of this rich, uh, purpley blue color they are. Uh, one thing I find interesting is that their iridescence is kind of neat. When I got my light on, they look purple, and then when my light's off, they look blue. And, as I stated before, this is a excellent starter community fish, and they go well with... Pretty much anything that's uh, peaceful, that fits within the tropical temperature range, and that won't eat them. So um, you keep these guys with uh, tetras, barbs, smaller grammys, uh, dwarf cichlids. These guys probably can go fine with shrimp too, even though they might eat the shrimp fry. Well, shrimp larva. So I don't really have much more to say about these guys, in that they're just uh, excellent, really easy community fish. So uh, if you are getting new in the hobby, I would recommend that if you want a good starter shoulder fish, would be to go with either the uh, Pearl Dano or the uh, Zebra Dano, which basically has the same requirements as the Pearl Dano. And remember that the Zebra and the Leopard Dano are the same fish. So this is going to be a bit on the short end. It's just because this fish is uh, so easy that I don't have that much to say about it. Remember, keep them at tank size with at least 10 gallons. Make sure to have some play, have some good plant cover. So, um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.